well she should be looking like somebody who is going to cast spells and you know do some voodoo or some juju or some magic or some in incantations and the rest of them whichever one you guys call it yes um from wherever the world that you guys have lived or you've come from whichever word that you guys use for sorcery and magic and witchcraft three and wizardry she should be dressing in a way that um depicts that somebody is going to perform some form of spell i don't know which <laughs> which evil spirit won't fall for this lady <laughs> if they come to see her like i don't <laughs> i don't understand what germania meant <laughs> was actually thinking in their heads like <laughs> yeah i mean she is in the dark um in the wilderness or let me say in the forest i don't know god knows what she's looking for on there probably going to do her annual ritual or her annual sacrifice and the rest of them but yeah uh some of you might be like nah she's going to shag some men or going to wash or wag some men in the bush <laughs> i don't know about that but yeah the dressing is not <laughs> it's not um fit for the occasion <laughs> i don't know what germany i mean was thinking but <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in Germanic society, which is we are referred to as sorcerers and held positions of authority, they represented the pre Christian shamanic customs of Europe and are mentioned as early as the Roman era, where they served as envoys to Rome and occasionally led military rebellion against Roman armies. In fact, archaeologists have even discovered several tombs that seem to contain the remains of Scandinavian Ceresis. Among those artifacts that were found were ones, seeds with aphrodisiac and hallucinogenic qualities and various things signifying great status. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you guys to the first in this series yes the first in the witchcraft series by the germania mint this is a gorgeous round which has been created by the germania mint to launch the first release in the witchcraft series of the octagonal pieces meaning that they all have your eight sided um shapes on the round and yes, I officially welcome each and every single one of you to the 2023, as it is written here. Your Germania Mint, your one ounce silver witchcraft, Ceres, BU round, silver round. And with that, let us all dive on in when we come back, we shall analyze in details the features of this round. Let us all dive on in. Greetings, 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 my people, and indeed a very warm, fantastic, majestic, and fantabulous welcome to each and every single one of you to yet again another of my coin showcasing video. And welcome to the first in the witchcraft series. My name is Biwa Ricky Kum Staka NZ, and you guys are highly, highly, highly welcome to today's edition. Alrighty, so where do we start? Yes, um. Let me see, <clears throat> where do we start? Well, the, the other side of this round does, it, it actually um, depicts the, the skulls and the, let me see. No, it depicts actually Ceres dressed in ceremonial attire and accessories made from deer skull, which is what is seen here yeah which is actually deer skull fragments and antlers yes and you guys can see also in the surrounding she is looking like she is actually in a forest yes deep into the woods as you guys can see the trees in the background and the foliage as well and we can see the inscription the name of the designer on here initials series the name of the series itself and yes, this lady is, <laughs> she is looking rather seductive rather than 
somebody who is on a mission to to cast a spell. I don't know what Germany I mean was thinking there, but <laughs> it looks like she's going for a nighttime seduction, <laughs> trying to find <laughs> whomever she wants to <laughs> to strap. <laughs> Ah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Yeah, that was that was actually <laughs> uncalled for. Yeah, my apologies. Didn't mean to make too much fun out of that. But anyways, um, yeah, the reverse side shows dragons, shows skulls, and Germanic runes along with the Germania mint bicephalous eagle, which is your double. Headed ego and wow, not a legal tender coin, it bears a ceremonial denomination of five marks on here just to make it more of um, a grand styled denomination or currency, though the mark does not exist anymore, used by, by Germany before they switched to euros. Right, the, the Germanic runes are all, all here on the sides. This is the Berkanan rune, which I knew from the other series, from the Valkyrie series. And yes, we can see that they have actually done quite well with the with the reverse side, or let me say the obverse side of of the sorry, the reverse side of the round itself. Yes, they have done quite well. Germania, one ounce weight, AG molecular symbol of silver. For nine fine purity 2023 year date five marks denomination yeah they have actually done quite quite well absolutely fantastic alrighty yes the octagonal shaped round the first ever to to be done so well Germany I mean I mean the first ever to be done in a brilliant uncirculated um, round so the Germany I mean they are actually taking taking a risk but um, yeah it will pay off eventually once one person starts the rest will follow alrighty alrighty what else what else what else do we have to see on here nothing else to be honest and it comes in the what's it called with the coa it does come with the coa so you guys can always um always pause the video and read the technical specifications mintage is twenty thousand pieces and you guys have the technical specs above so yeah nothing really spectacular to be honest with regards to this particular series series but yes, it has been it has been a very nice introduction, to be honest, with the shape by the Germania Mint. And yes, definitely it will do well. We will see who we'll follow it and see how the people are reacting to to the stout as opposed to the normal round shaped coins that we normally see rather than the octagonal. Very soon we might have the pentagonal. Or who knows. But anyways, if you have enjoyed, hit that like button. It is food for the YouTube algorithm. And yes, if this is your first time on here, we do things like this on a daily basis. So please pledge your allegiance to us. Smash that subscribe button. Helps us to continue to carry out all the good works that we normally do on a daily basis. And um, what else? Yeah, your like button is actually highly appreciated because the more you like it, the more it gets pushed out. I know that most of you who watch these videos don't even bother doing the bare minimum or giving back to the person doing the hard work by hitting that like button. It does make sure that your friends say it because the algo will definitely push it out there. But anyways, that's all I can say. And yes, I just spotted that as I was planning to end the video. But anyways, um, a very big thank you to each and every single one of you yet again, once again, for stopping by, dropping by to view another of my round showcasing videos. And with that, I'll definitely see each and every single one of you in my next video. Thank you very much.